So when it comes to uniques, there are specific enemy types you can farm to up your chances of getting said uniques. Today guys, we go through every unique in the game which is farmable from a certain enemy type or a rare monster. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Before we go any further guys, this video is sponsored by MitchCactus.com. If you guys are looking to get ahead in Diablo 4, Mitch Cactus is a great, legit online service that can assist you in many, many different ways. Whether you need all your Lilith statues collected, a full campaign completion, how to get into a certain power level, or quick access to world tier 4, Mitch Cactus has you covered with over 7,000 trust pilot reviews back in this service this website is linked down below use code dpj for five percent off so there are uber uniques uniques tied to each class as well as rare uniques that only drop from a certain monster today guys we get into them all so firstly in regards to class uniques and uber uniques these will change with season two where they promise a more efficient way to target farm these uniques. At the moment, we only have the current method, which are to farm specific enemy types, which have increased chances of dropping these specific items. The best way to do this is obviously those nightmare dungeons with that magic find modifier on, but it's not limited to this. So let's get into it guys. And we'll start with those Uber uniques. So it's important to remember that jewelry like rings and amulets do not have any increased drop chances from any specific enemy type. Okay, so we're going to start with the Fists of Fate. This has increased drop chances from spiders. So the dungeons you want to be farming here, guys, are Surat's Lair and the Pallid Delve. Next up we have the Frostburn, this also has increased drop chances from dropping from spiders, again same two dungeons, so it's Leia and Pellid Delve. The Penitent Greaves, this has increased drop chances from those beast enemies, so for these guys you want to farm Order's Cave or the Tomb of the Saints or the Path of the Blind. Any or these dungeons will be great for beasts, so yes, do what you gotta do. Next up guys, we have the Razor Plate. This has increased drop chances from both beasts and spiders. So beast dungeons again, Order's Cave, the Tomb of the Saints and the Path of the Blind. Spider Dungeons, we have Surat's Lair and Pellid Delve. Now the Temerity, this is actually one I'm chasing myself. This has increased drop chances from the Drowned enemy type. So the best one to farm for this one guys is the Marina's Refuge. Okay, so onto the Butcher's Cleaver. This can drop from Fallen, Goatman and Cannibals, but it has increased drop chances from those Fallen enemy over the Goatman and the Cannibals. So Fallen Dungeons here, you want uh, Garen Hold, the Shifting City and the Halls of the Damned. Goatman Dungeons, we have Mercy's Reach, Comdor Temple and the Hoarfrost Demise. Cannibal Dungeons, we have the Pellid Delve, we have Carnal House and the Faceless Shrine. Okay, so we're going to move on to the Uber Uniques. Now there's seven in total, one was added with Season 1. These you must know as well, they only drop on a World Tier 4 and their enemy level must be an 85 plus. You can't drop on a World Tier 3 and if an enemy is under 85, you've absolutely got no chance of getting these. So we'll start off with the newest edition. And this is called the Ahavarian Spear of Lycanda. I probably pronounced wrong guys, I'm useless at pronouncing these kind of weird names. This drops from Fallen and Goatman. So Fallen enemies we have Go and Hold, we have the Shifting City and the Halls of Damned. Go 
Goldman enemies will have Mercy's Reach, Commodore Temple, and Horfrost Demise. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the End of Eel's Visage. This uh, drops from Cortis and Cannibals. So the Cortis Dungeons, we have Faceless Shrine, the Heretic's Asylum, and the Halls of the Damned. Cannibals, we have Pelu Delve, we have Carnal House, and we have the Faceless Shrine. Next up guys, we have the Doom Boonga. I think this is still an item no one in the world has got yet. It has increased drop chances on from Skeletons, Snakes and Beasts. Skeleton Dungeons, we have the Nostrava Deepwood, we have the Commodore Temple and we have Horfrost Demise. Snake Dungeons, we have the Forgotten Ruins. Beast Dungeons, we have Order's Cave, Tomb of the Saints, and the Path of the Blind. Next up guys, we have the Harley Quinn Crest. This drops from Cortis and Cannibals. So Cannibal Dungeons, we have Pallid Dell, we have Carnal House, and we have the Faceless Shrine. Cultists will have Faceless Shrine, Heretic's Asylum, and the Halls of the Damned. So your probably best bet for farming this one, guys, is, is a Faceless Shrine, as this has both enemy types, which can drop this Harley Quinn crest. Next up, guys, we have the Grand Father. This drops on both Vampires and Spiders. Spiders, we have Surat Salaya and Pellid Delve. And vampires we have Deadman's Dredge, Arkhan's Grasp, and the Immortal Emanation. Now you also must remember as well, guys, in regards to uniques, they can drop from those how tight chests. Uber uniques too. Now they are super rare, like I said, but there's still a chance of you getting them. So yes, when how tight is on, if you want a unique that can drop across the board, you may as well farm this place. Okay, so let's get into the class uniques, and firstly, we have the Necromancer. Okay, so we'll start with a new unique, and I actually got this yesterday. The Lidless Wall. This has increased drop chances from those skeleton enemies. The best dungeons to farm here are the Nostrava Deepwood, Commodore Temple, and the Horfrost Demise. Next up guys, we have the Black River. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. The best dungeon here is the Marina's Refuge. Next up guys, we have the Blood Artitan's Cures. This has increased drop chances from beasts and spiders. Beast dungeons, we have Order's Cave, Tomb of the Saints, and a Path of the Blind. Spider Dungeons, we have Soat Solaire and Pellet Delve. Next up, guys, we have the Bloodless Scream. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. Best dungeon here, the Marina's Refuge. Next up, guys, we have the Deathless Visage. This has increased drop chances from Cortis and Cannibals. Cannibal Dungeons, you have Pellid Delve, Carnal House, and the Faceless Shrine. Cultist Dungeons, Faceless Shrine, Heretic's Asylum, and the Halls of the Damned. Next up, guys, have the Greaves of the Empty Tomb. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. Best dungeon here, Marina's Refuge. And lastly, guys, of the Howl from below. This has increased drop chances from that spider enemy type. Best dungeons here, so it's a layer and a pellet delve.
Okay, so we're going to move on to the Druid. Okay, so we'll start with the newest addition, the Flesh Runda. This has increased drop chances from bandits and the drowned enemy types. So bandit dungeons, we have all this cave and a faceless shrine. Drowned dungeon, the best one to farm is the marina's refuge. Next up guys, we have the great staff of the crown. This has increased drop chances from fallen and goldman. Fallen dungeons, garen hold, shifting city and the halls of the damned. Gauntman Dungeons, Mercy's Reach, Commodore Temple, and the Horfrost Demise. Next up guys, we have the Insatiable Fury. This has increased drop chances from both Beasts and Spiders. Beast Dungeons, we have Aldous Cave, Tomb of the Saints, and the Path of the Blind. By the dungeons, we have Seret's Lair and Appellate Delve. Next up, guys, we have the Mad Wolf's Glee. This has increased drop chances from again Beasts and Spiders. So, Beast Dungeons, Order's Cave, Tomb of the Saints, and the Path of the Blind. Spider Dungeons, we have Seret's Lair and Appellate Delve. Next up guys we have the Storm's Companion. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. The best dungeon here is Marina's Refuge. Next up guys we have the Tempest Roar. This has increased drop chances from Cortis and Cannibals. Cannibal Dungeons we have Pallid Delve, Carnal House and a Faceless Shrine. Cortis Dungeons with Faceless Shrine, Heretics Asylum, and Halls of the Damned. Next up guys, we have the Vesely's Prayer. Is it pronounced that way? Probably not. This again has increased drop chances from Cortis and Cannibals. Cannibal Dungeons, Pallid Delve, Carnal House, and the Faceless Shrine. Cultist, Faceless Shrine, Heretics Asylum, and Halls of the Damned. Lastly guys of the Waxing Gibus, does that say? Probably not, what a weird name. This has increased drop chances from Fallen and Goldman enemies. Fallen Dungeons have Garen Hold, Shifting City, and Halls of the Damned. Gauntman Dungeons, Mercy's Reach, Commodore Temple, and the Horfrost Demise. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Sorcerer. So we're going to start with the newest addition, the newest unique for the Sorcerer, the Oculus. This has increased drop chances from both Ghosts and Vampires. So ghost dungeons you want to be trying to farm are the Tomb of the Saints, the Immortal Emanation, and the Marina's Refuge. Vampires with Deadman's Dredge, the Akans Grasp, and the Immortal Emanation. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Esu's Heirloom. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. The best place for this is the Marina's Refuge. Next up guys, we have Flame Scar. This drops on ghosts and vampires. Ghost dungeons, we have Tomb of the Saints, the Immortal Emanation, and the Marina's Refuge. Vampire Dungeons with Dead Man's Dredge, Akans Grasp, and Immortal Emanation. Next up, guys, we have the Gloves of the Illuminator. 
This has increased drop chances from spiders. Best dungeons here are the Servant's Lair and the Pellet Delve. Next up guys with the Ice Heart Braze. This drops from the Drowned Enemy Type. Best dungeon here is the Marina's Refuge. Next up guys with the Raiment of the Infinite. This has increased drop chances from beasts and spiders. Beast dungeons will have Aldous Cave, Tomb of the Saints and the Path of the Blind. Spider dungeons will have Seret's Lair and a Pellet Delve. Next up guys with the Steph of the Endless Rage. This has increased drop chances from both Fallen and Gortman enemies. Fallen Dungeons we have Garen Hold, Shifting City and the Halls of the Damned. Gortman Dungeons the best to farm are Mercy's Reach, the Commodore Temple and the Horfrost Demise. Lastly guys we have the Staff of the Lamb Essen. This has increased drop chances from again Fallen and Gortman. Fallen Dungeons, Garen Horde, Shifting City, and the Hall of the Damned. Gortman Dungeons, Mercy's Reach, Commodore Temple, and the Hall of Frost Demise. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Barbarian. Okay, so we'll start with the latest edition, the newest unique with Season 1. The Azeroth. This has uh, increased drop chances from beasts, skeletons, and snakes. So beast dungeons, you want to be farming Alder's Cave, Tomb of the Saints, and the Path of the Blind. Skeletons, we have the Nostrava Deepwood, the Commodore Temple, and the Horthrust Demise. Snakes we have the Forgotten Ruins. Moving on to the 100,000 Steps. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. The best dungeon here is the Marina's Refuge. Next up guys, a Hell Hammer. Again, drowned enemy type. Again, Marina's Refuge. By far the best dungeon for this enemy type. Next up guys, we have the Overkill. Again, drowned enemy type. Again, best dungeon for these. Marina's Refuge. Next up guys with the Ancient's Oath. This has increased drop chances from Goldman and Cannibals. Goldman Dungeons who want to be farming. Mercy's Reach, Commodore Temple and the Horfrost Demise. Cannibal Dungeons will have Pelly Delve, Carnal House and the Faceless Shrine. Next up guys we have the Fields of Crimson. This has increased drop chances from Vampires and Spiders. Spider Dungeons, Servet's Lair and Pellet Delve. Vampires we have Dead Man's Dredge, Akam's Grasp and the Immortal Emanation. Next up guys we have Gore's Devastating Grips. This has increased drop chances from spiders. Best dungeons here, Seret's Lair and Pallid Delve. Next up guys, we have the Rage of Horogoth. This has increased drop chances from beast enemy types. Beast enemy dungeons, Alder's Cave, Tomb of the Saints and the Path of the Blind. And lastly guys we have the Ramaladni's Magnum Opus, I've probably pronounced that wrong, I normally do. This has increased drop chances from that skeleton enemy type. Best dungeons here, the Strava Deepwood, Commodore Temple and the Horfrost Demise. And lastly for the class uniques we have the Rogue. Okay so we'll start with the newest addition for the Rogue and that is the Eaglehorn. This has increased drop chances from ghosts and vampires. 
Ghost Dungeons, we have the Tomb of the Saints, the Immortal Emanation, and the Marina's Refuge. Vampires, Dead Man's Dredge, the Occam's Grasp, and the Immortal Emanation. Next up guys of the Eshiru is Kanjar, I believe that's pronounced wrong, probably is. This has increased drop chances from bandits and cultists. Bandit dungeons, we have Alder's Cave and the Face of the Shrine. Cultists, we have the Face of the Shrine, the Heretic's Asylum and the Halls of the Damned. The Condemnation, again bandits and cultists. Bandit Dungeons, Alder's Cave, and the Face of the Shrine. Cultist Dungeons, Face of the Shrine, Heretic's Asylum, and the Halls of the Damned. Next up we have the Cattle of the Nameless. This has increased drop chances from Cannibals and Cultists. Cannibal Dungeons, we have the Pellet Dow, the Carnal House, and the Face of the Shrine. Cultist Dungeons, Face of the Shrine, Heretic's Asylum, and the Halls of the Damned. Next up guys with the Eyes in the Dark. This has increased drop chances from that giant enemy type. Best dungeon here, the Marina's Refuge. Next up guys with the Grasp of Shadow. This has increased drop chances from that spider enemy type. Best dungeons here, so it's a layer and a pellet dove. Next up guys we have the Sky Hunter. This has increased drop chances from ghosts and vampires. Ghost dungeons, Tomb of the Saints, the Immortal Emanation and the Marina's Refuge. Vampires, Dead Man's Dredge, Akan's Grasp, and the Immortal Emanation. Lastly, guys, we have the Wind Force. This has increased drop chances again from Ghosts and Vampires. Ghost Dungeons, Tomb of the Saints, the Immortal Emanation, and the Marina's Refuge. Vampires, Dead Man's Dredge, Occam's Grasp, and the Immortal Emanation. Okay, so we'll now move on to the rare uniques which have a specific drop from enemies found around the map. These are specific rare monster types. Some of these enemies also only spawn according to the time of day. Sometimes day, sometimes night. So a little bit of information here. Yes, if you ain't aware, there is a night and day cycle in Diablo 4. Every hour, real time, the cycle changes. What is confusing here though is the fact the cycle doesn't change automatically on the fly in regards to turning from night to day while you're playing. So you can actually go past the hour and the game will still appear as night or day. Now to initiate the change you must load somewhere to a waypoint in and out of a dungeon etc etc. This will change from night to day or from day to night. Okay so everything will be timestamped down below with exactly when enemies can be farmed and yes to get some of these uniques you will have to farm them. These are not guaranteed drops like I believe they once were. So we're going to start with dry steps and everything you will need you'll see on the screen.
I cannot do that here. Not while I'm in town. I cannot do that here. I need time to do that. I cannot do that here.
not while I'm in town. Not while I'm in town. I cannot do that here. I cannot do that here. Not while I'm in town. I cannot do that here.
while I'm in town. Not while I'm in town. Not while I'm in town. I cannot do that here. I cannot do that here. I need more time.
I cannot do that here. 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 Simply a Why, sharing the holy words of the Zakarum with true believers, of course. Hmm, shame. You would have made a lovely pet. Not while I'm in town. I need more time. Not while I'm in town. I cannot do that here. I cannot do that here. I need time to do that. I 
any time to do that. I need time to do that. I cannot do that here. And there we have it guys, all uniques across the board which you will have to farm. There are other uniques tied to side quests which I may do a video on soon but we will see. But guys there we have it, if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.